Hello out there. This video is for one of my clients who went with a little bit different uh, looking palette. So I wanted to make this video for her. You know who you are. Uh, but if you have a similar palette or just want to see a different way of doing this makeup without a contour, then follow along. So this is what I set her up with. I'm going to talk directly to my client now. So you are going to take your tins out and place them in your palette. I like to do go from lightest to darkest. Um, in your case, since we're skipping the contour, this is the bronzer over here. So you will have linen. This is like, the, I have different colors than you, but you'll put linen on first. You'll follow up with your June, which is your main highlight. And then you're going to do your contour last and you're going to follow up with your lip and your cheek, which I didn't add in here yet, but I will. Make sure you keep one of these lids for your tins. They're going to help you move things around in your palette so you're not sticking your fingers in there. I'm going to grab your lip colors out now. Pink grapefruit. I am going to stick my tin in between and then I'm going to top it out that way. So that way you're not getting your fingers in that. Then you can just place it right on in. Okay, and you also have Summer Love, so I'm gonna grab that too. Summer Love is a gloss. Pink Grapefruit is a satin. Okay, so now I have everything. We're gonna start out with your brightening highlight, which is the lightest highlight that you put in first. You can use your finger. You're gonna work down the center of your face. So I do down the nose. And I put like a little chicken foot right here and a little above my lip and on my chin. Then I'm going to go to my eye. I'm going to do this corner of my eye, the outside of my eye going up, same on the other side. And anything left over. If you need a little more, just pop it onto your lid. You don't want to put too much here, but this is going to just be a really good base for your um, for your eyeshadow later. Next, you're going to go into your main highlight. So you can apply it with your finger. You're going to apply this just in all the blank spaces. So I'll show you how to do it with the brush on the other side. This side, I'm going to show you the finger application. And I like to go in with, a lot of the times I like to go in with my lip and cheek last. Okay, so I'll let that hang out there. I'm going to show you how to go in with your brush. So you have the blush and bronzer brush. So you can use, there's two ends. This is the fluffy end, and then this is the shorter, more dense end. So you can actually tap right into your main highlight, and you can apply and blend that in as you go. So if you don't want to put it all on with your finger, do this. Since this brush is a little bit bigger, I would suggest using your finger for your brightening highlight so you can get better placement. You could try to squeeze it and put it on that way, but you know, see what works best for you. So I'm not putting a ton on it, just a little bit as I work up my face because I would rather start with a little and add some if I need it them on the inside here. So I'm mainly using stippling motions, which is pushing, pressing, and moving. I would avoid this swirling action because that can kind of like draw attention to fine lines, wrinkles, pores. It kind of like aggravates the texture and highlights that texture, which we don't want to do. Okay, so that's how you apply that right to your skin by dipping in 
and applying. So instead of using your finger, but if you use your finger, then just go right over and just start tapping and pressing and moving everything into place. Some areas like your jaw um, and like maybe up on your higher forehead, you can use some more of these like swiping motions, but I tend to just press all that in. Okay, then you can work on your brightening. I'm just gonna tap and move that in. And in the start of this, I put a little, you could put a little chapstick on or lip gloss to get your lips like nice and soft for when you apply your satin uh, lip and cheek, which is the pink grapefruit. I don't know, I have super dry lips, so I always like to prep them ahead of time so nothing looks dry. Okay, then you can kind of like squeeze this, see, to do in here, and then to do in this part of your eye. And bring it all up. And you're just gonna take that leftover, tap that into your eyelid. That will be like your eyelid primer. This brightening highlight, I want you to think of it as your concealer. So it goes in those same spots a concealer would. Okay, so you can stop there if you want to, but you're probably going to want to put some depth back into your face, which is why we gave you the bronzer. So this bronzer right here, you can use it um, just as a bronzer. I'll show you what that looks like. Take the fluffy end, tap that in, and you're going to just sweep this. Like, don't worry. You'll buff that out. Sweep this up in that forehead region and along your cheeks. This is where you could do a little sweeping motion um, because these bristles are really spread out. So I'm just tapping in and applying it. You could do some on your chin and on your neck. Like see here, I'm super red here, but my neck is pretty white. So I'll just help, don't worry, that went on dark, don't worry, you could buff that all out. Everything is pretty much fixable with this. Do a little on your chin, right, just to darken up everything. But if you want to use it as a contour, go on over to your short end, and I'm going to squeeze it and tap in, and I'm going to just apply it like I would a contour gonna look a little scary at first but your um, bronzer is so sheer it doesn't provide coverage like a contour does so it's gonna be a lot easier for you to move around your face and blend in so I, I do like a little you would complete this across your whole face if you wanted to I just showed you the difference between adding a little bronzer for warmth versus like contouring with bronzer Okay, so whatever I do on this side, you would repeat on this side if you wanted that look. So then you can start blending it out. If you want your bronzer a little bit more prominent and like a little darker, then use the short end of your brush to buff it out. If you want it lighter and a little less noticeable, use the fluffy end. So you're going to blend that back into your hairline. In your cheek, you're going to give it a little swoop, and then you're going to flick this up and, like, leave it. This looks probably striking to you, but you're going to put your lip and cheek color on right above this, okay? So leave that because you're going to blend it more. Here, I'm going to pinch, sweep it down my nose, and then you're going to feather that down. So it's like adding warmth and then I'll, I'll soften this so you don't have like a straight stark line down your nose. Soften that up. Okay. And then if you put a little under your lip, soften that up there. Now under your chin, see that? You could swoop it like this, but then you're going to drag it down into your neck. 
Okay, so you can see the difference. Like you're gonna notice a little bit more of a chiseled look doing it, like applying it like a contour versus just kind of like putting a nice little wash in the areas where your skin would naturally be kissed by the sun. So I'll keep going so you could see the difference here. See the difference between the two? All right, now I'm gonna put on pink grapefruit. I can up, I'm gonna apply this with my finger because a little bit of this, since it's a satin, is gonna go a long way. So I'm gonna keep this above my contour. So contour below, your cheek color above. Over here, I'll just keep it up here. You're gonna go a little higher on your cheeks. I have some pretty full cheeks, so I don't want my color right here on the apples, drawing my attention right here. I wanna keep it like up and out. And then you can take the rest, whatever is left over, or add more, and do your lips. If you have like a little makeup cloth or tissue or something next to you, wipe it off. This is so pigmented. Um, I just don't want you to get it on anything. Okay, so now you're back with the same brush. We've used the same brush. You can use this. I like to use a smaller end first and then fluff everything out with the bigger end. So first I'm going to start sweeping it like this and I'm not gonna go past this point. And then I'm gonna kinda flick it down into your contour. So you're melding those two together. You could do a little bit of swirls, little swirls, okay? Same thing over here. Gonna buff it out and then bring it down. Like we're not gonna bring it up, up here any higher. So you can see the difference between the two. Here, if I'm gonna soften it, and kind of melt these two together a little more. You could do light swirling buffing motions, flicking this up and bringing it back down. So if you want something to go away, just keep working at it. <laughs> That'll offload. So you can probably see a little bit more definition on this side than this side. I, I'll just keep going. I'm going to probably fix this side of my face to match this in the end, but I want you to see the difference. Um, you can use Summer Love on top of that. So you could see it has a nice glow to it, but it's, it's matte. So you can even double up. This Summer Love is a gloss. It's not going to add a ton of color. Um, but it is going to add that nice, pretty, like, shine without having to add an illuminator, which is like the sparkle. And then you can even top your lip color with it. So you can wear either of these separate or you can wear them together. I love mixing the two. So then just gently flick that down uh, with the gloss. It's a bit more sheer, so you don't want to over blend it. Just kind of want to soften it up into what you already have. There you go. That's that. You can take, I kind of like to get some of that color off, right? Um, before I move on, but a lot of that, it stays on your face. So you don't have to worry about it. All right, my setting vanilla dust setting powder is really low. So that's where your vanilla dust will be. I like to make sure there's, see how I have a crease on my eye? You can just use your finger to buff out the crease. And then this is the vanilla dust setting powder. You're just gonna load it up on the small end of your brush and set your eye just a little bit. A little goes a long way. And then same over here. Because if I don't buff out that little line of like excess makeup, you're gonna see that when you put your eyeshadow on. Sorry, I really gotta dig deep here for this vanilla dust. So you definitely wanna set there. 
I also like to check underneath my eyes. I'm just going to tap out any extra you could set under your eyes. Like you're not trying to set it until things look chalky, just a little bit to keep it in place so you don't get any kind of creasing. You could also set down, um, set down the center of your face that's in that T-zone. So if there's any shininess there, it's going to help mattify it. It's going to keep those oily sections of your face in check. So yeah, that's that. Go on to your, you have your London and your Soulmate. Take your eyeshadow brush. You're going to start with your London, which is this darker and more matte color. Take your eyeshadow brush, pop into it, but look at all of, do you see this like dust? You don't want that because that's on your brush too. Give it a few good taps. Otherwise that's going to end up down here, all that fallout. So what I like to do is I like to do keep my eye open. I'm going to start placing the color on this outside third of my eye and work it in. If you have hooded eyes, this is going to be game changer for you because if you put it on your natural crease right here and you open your eye, you're not going to see that color you just put on there. So you can start out um, on the lighter side. If you want to darken it up, go on ahead. But I'm going to keep it a little like lighter. So keep the majority of the color here. Then you're going to use windshield wiper motions to sweep it towards here. But I'm trying not to put it really on this portion of my lid. And then I just do it on the other side. Remember to tap off. Okay, so outer third. And girl, this is going to go way faster um, once you've had some practices and if you're not talking like I am. But I'm just trying to break everything down so it's nice and simple. Like I said, if you want to darken up this London, like if it's a nighttime look and you want a little more drama around your eyes, just add more. And like I would just darken up this over here more. I thought somebody was coming in. Okay. If you want more blend here, I would just wipe off your brush. If you have a, um, like I have one of these that I wipe it off into, a little brush cleaning tile, but if you have just like a napkin or paper towel that you could get the excess off, and then I just kind of like to swoosh it like this, just to soften it up. Can you see the difference? A little bit, right? It's just not so harsh. All right, now for Soulmate, you're going to pop this onto this portion of your eye. I use my finger because it is, um, here, I'll show you on my hand the difference between the two. So if I use my finger, you're going to get that versus your brush, you're going to get that. So this is way more dramatic. It's going to show up better. This is definitely more muted. You can use something like this if you want to just brighten up under your brow bone. So I'll show you that. Tap off. And I'm using super light pressure. And you just have a little bit of shimmer right up under your brow just to you know, brighten up that area. You could totally skip this step too. This is just like if you want to jazz it up. Then get it on your finger, close your eye, and you're going to apply right to the inside corner so pretty 
and I'm just gonna like wipe that off. I'm just gonna pop this onto this inside corner of your lid. Do it as much or as little as you want. Take your brush and you're just gonna so gentle. You're just gonna smooth that out a little bit. And there you go. If you want a little London under your eye, take the smaller end of the brush, tap that off, and just put that there. It all really depends on the look you're going for. You can even add a little bit of the soulmate on the inside corner, like right in here if you want, just to give the inside a pop. I am going to um, do my brows and do my mascara and I will come back here. Oh, and I'm gonna like mimic, I'm gonna match these sides and then I will come back and I'll show you a final look with that. But I'll let you see up close first. This is the side we just added some bronzer like some warmth and this is the side we use the bronzer to contour with all right this is my final look so beautiful and glowy here's the eyes love it to my client, if you have any specific questions about the makeup, applying the makeup, anything, please send me a message. Um, and if you're watching this just to learn, to like everyone else, if you have a question, drop it below and I will get back to you. I hope you all enjoyed this look. I used two brushes. I used blush and bronzer brush and an eyeshadow brush. And instead of the contour, I did the bronzer. Super simple and easy and it has a beautiful look with really good coverage.